Larger forms are forms that describe a whole piece of music. And so the question is, how do we describe what goes on throughout some entire piece of music, an entire song, let's say an entire symphony? Um, forms we'll talk about today are strophic, verse chorus, we'll also talk about simple verse choruses distinct from verse chorus, AABA, two verse chorus, and verse chorus bridge. The two that we'll talk about in this video are strophic and verse chorus. Now strophic is when you have the same melody and harmony over and over and over again. We have verse 1, verse 2, verse 3, and this is basically every Christmas song where you'd ask, hey, does anybody know how verse 2 goes? So something like, oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. It happens the same thing over and over again. When you get to the end, you go back to the beginning, and then you sing verse 2. This is um, a strophic form. Now notice that if we went down from the piece to the section form, we would have A, B, A, oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how faithful are thy leaves, and then B is, you bloom with summer's fairest rose, and in the winter's bitter snows, and then A comes back, oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how faithful are thy leaves, but this form of the entire song, because you go back and repeat it again, is strophic. What's the form of the dreidel song? We'll see that there's more than one verse, so this is strophic. But also, it divides into two periods. I had a little dreidel, I made it out of clay. Open. And when it's dry and ready, then dreidel I shall play. Closed. And those seem to be the same kind of melody, so we could call it A A prime. And then, oh dreidel, 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 I made it out of clay. Open. Oh dreidel, 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 then dreidel I shall play. Closed. And again, these are kind of the same melody, and so we could call this B and B prime. So we would say that the sections of this piece are A, A prime, B, B prime, but larger, the larger form, the whole song, is strophic. Now verse chorus form is when you have two sections whose respective melody and harmony returns over and over again in a verse chorus order. The chorus's words never change, while the verse's words change. Um, the verse can repeat before the chorus comes back, and this is basically any song where everybody sort of mumbles everything that's not the first verse, and then comes in loudly on the chorus. So um, you could pause for a moment and bring up Green Sleeves on YouTube or Spotify or whatever you use, and then listen to the first minute or so, and you'll see a verse chorus form. So you've got, Alas, my love, ye do me wrong to cast me off discourteously, for I have loved you so long, delighting in your company. That's the verse. And then green sleeves was all my joy, green sleeves was my delight, green sleeves was my heart of gold, and who but my lady, green sleeves. And then you've got the uh, second verse, alas, my love, that you should own different words. And then after that, Second verse, you go back to green sleeves was all my love, right? So this is the same, um, the same words come back again. The same uh, words and melody. Um, simple verse chorus is a specific kind of verse chorus that arises from the blues 12 bar harmonic pattern that goes over and over. So it actually seems pretty like a strophic form because it's the same, the same, the same, the same. It's just that in simple verse chorus, the chorus plays the same music as the verse, but it repeats the same words. So hound dog is an example of this. Uh, you ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. That's the chorus, and it keeps coming back. But then in between those, you'll often get, uh, well, I said you was high class, that was just a lie. Different, different words, but then the chorus comes back after that. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. So when songwriters contrast the two sections, this is regular verse chorus. So something like Adele's Hello would be a regular verse chorus. And we would write it out like, like this. Um, here's another example, I Will Always Love You by Dolly Parton. If I should stay um, would be the verse. And then, and I will always love you is the chorus. It's a different uh, melody harmony com uh, combination. Um, but that same combination comes back over and over again. Uh, verse 2 is bittersweet memories, different words, but then, and I will always love you, is the same words that comes back with the chorus.